Hi everyone, it's Schematic Matt and today we are going to talk about cell cycle and cell cycle checkpoint. The cell cycle is the process a cell undertakes to replicate all of its material and divide into two identical cells. Phases of the cell cycle The cell cycle is a four-stage process consisting of GAP1 or G1, synthesis, GAP2 or G2, and mitosis. An active eukaryotic cell will undergo these steps as it grows and divides. After completing the cycle, this cell either starts the process again from G1 or exits the cycle for G0. From G0, the cell can undergo terminal differentiation. The stages in the cell cycle between one mitosis and the next, which include G1, S and G2, are known collectively as the interface. G1 phase. In this phase, cell increases in size and cellular contents duplicate. S phase. In S phase, the cell synthesizes a complete copy of the DNA in its nucleus. G2 phase. During the second gap phase, the cell grows more, organelles and proteins develop in preparation for cell division. G phase ends when mitosis begins. M phase. During the M phase, the cell divides its copied DNA and cytoplasm to make two new cells. G0 phase. While some cells are constantly dividing, some cell types are at rest. These cells may exit G1 and enter a resting state called G0. In G0, a cell is performing its functions without actively preparing to divide. G0 is a permanent state for some cells, while others may restart division if they get the right signals. The progression of cells through the cell cycle is controlled by checkpoints at different stages. This detects if a cell contains damaged DNA and ensures those cells do not replicate. The restriction point is located at G1 and is a key checkpoint. The vast majority of cells that pass through the R point will end up completing the entire cell cycle. Other checkpoints are located at the transition between G1 and S, G2 and M, and a spindle checkpoint at the transition from metaphase to anaphase. If damaged DNA is detected at any checkpoint, activation of the checkpoint results in increased protein P53 production. P53 is a tumor suppressor gene that stops the progression of this cell cycle and starts repair mechanisms for the damaged DNA. If this DNA cannot be repaired, the cell undergoes apoptosis and can no longer replicate. When there is a defect in P53 tumor suppressor gene, it cannot detect and bind two cells with damaged DNA to either repair the damage or cause apoptosis. This increases the risk of neoplasms. 